points. So we use special triangles to show you guys these three points. One, two, three. Right? We had those three points. We already know these points. One comma zero, hopefully, and zero comma one, right? But if I want to figure out what our special triangles were, remember we had the one for the 30 degrees, we had one for 45 degrees, and then we had our point at 60 degrees. So we already used the special triangles to determine them, but a lot of times we forget them, or it's very easy to mix them up. So what I do is if I want to rewrite them real quick, I just kind of write my three points, because I know there's going to be three of them. And, right? and we know they're all fractions. We know they're all fractions with a denominator of what? Two. So you just write a two, two, two. Right? They all have fractions of two. So they all have a fraction of two. Now, what do we go by on their denominator? If you remember, I kind of did that little tip. You can just do the square root of 1, which is 1, square root of 2, square root of 3. Square root of 1, which is 1, square root of 2, square root of 3. Now, as you flip it over, it's the exact same thing, except now what's negative? The x values are all now negative, right? So if you look at it, it's still now square root of 1, square root of 2, square root of 3. Square root of 1, square root of 2, square root of 3. Okay. Now it's going to be the exact same thing, um, but now I have square root of 1, square root of 2, square root of 3. Square root of 1, square root of 2, square root of 3. But now I'm in the fourth quadrant, so what's negative? Both of them. Then we go to this one. So this one is going to be square root of 1, square root of 2, square root of 3. Square root of 1, square root of 2, square root of 3. But in the fourth quadrant, what's negative? Only the y's. And there you go. Done. Isn't that quick? See how quickly I did that? All right, now we now we just wasted.